Uh, I get super tickled to death to film a video even more so than regular and this is one of those videos. When we talk about guns people always ask me what kind of guns do you like? Well there are a couple things. I like big guns and I like old school guns. So when we talk about pistols I'm not a huge fan of the polymer double stack pistols. So polymer pistols I'm not a huge fan. I everyday carry an honor guard but it's slim and I don't know it's there, so I love to carry that single stack. But we talk about having fun. What do I like to shoot? I like the all-metal guns. Here in front of me, we have three iterations of some Beretta 92s. And, hey, I am doing a dance on the inside right now. This is about to be a whole lot of fun. But here in front of us, we have an M9, an FS, and then an M9A3. Some of you guys may be very familiar with these. Some of you guys maybe never heard of them, but we are gonna have a whole lot of fun shooting these today. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the differences along the way. Very short story, M9, this is a commercial model, old school kind of military issue. Not kind of, is military issue. The M9A3, new school, you can see it's got the rail, threaded barrel. Let me show you a couple quick differences and then we're going to get to shooting and I'll tell you about them along the way as we go. Let's talk about the sights. So, <clears throat> first here is the M9. This has a sight that's kind of interesting. You don't see all that often unless you're familiar with these or something similar. It's a two dot sight where the rear sight is actually like a half moon there and then the front sight is a white dot. Oh, dot white dot so right there you can see both the dots I actually am kind of a fan of that you see there's the rear sight there so two dot sight for the M9 let me set that down the FS has a three dot sight extremely common not much to talk about there FS has a three dot white sight <clears throat> and then the M9A also has a three dot sight. These are a little bit more high tech three dot sights, but M9A3 three dot sight, the FS three dot sight, and then the M9 commercial model has that half moon rear sight and white up front. But Let's shoot one mag through all these off the bat and just see how we can do on some paper. I'm here to tell you, I told you I like old school. I get the feeling I'm going to like this M9 the best. Just picking it up. Hey, it just feels good. This kind of feels like, I don't know, almost like I'm a Glock, Glock boy and trying to be trendy. Hey, I'm not knocking it. It's a super sweet rig, obviously. But... I feel like I'm gonna like the old school a little bit, but I've got three silhouette paper targets set up down range. I'm gonna stand at 15 yards for all three of these and see how I can shoot them. Then we'll go over the guns a little bit more. All right, first we got the M9. This is the one with that two dot sight, that half moon rear sight. 15 rounds in this baby. Let's see how we can do with it. Woo. That feels good already, just racking that slide. That is smooth like butter. But 15 yards, let's see what kind of group we can do. Let's shoot the whole mag out. All right, very first shot, I absolutely like that trigger. That's got a good trigger on it. And it's a Beretta 92, somebody just said, duh, it's a Beretta 92, of course it does. But let's shoot this whole mag here. So, not the best group I've ever shot at 15 yards, but eh, first time I ever shot that gun. Feels good, feels smooth. I like the way that that sight lines up, but 
my group wasn't absolutely the best. So let's go on to the FS and see what kind of group we can get with the FS. All right, now I've got the FS. This is the one with those three dot sights there. A little bit more traditional sight picture that I'm used to. See if I can shoot any better of a group on this same silhouette style target here. Let me move that camera angle a little bit. Boop. Same distance right at 15 yards. I shot the last one in the same spot just a hair high but trigger feels exactly the same of course it's the same platform here so far I'm shooting much better with these three dot sights and the FS little bit better group on that one and I feel like I guess since I'm used to the three dot sights I could get back on aim back on target for the next shot there with the FS but let's go over to the M 9A3 and see what kind of group on paper we can get with this baby another difference here while I've grabbed the M 9A3 the M 9A3 holds 17 rounds if the camera will focus there on the mag the m9 commercial and the fs only hold 15 rounds so to tell it just from looking at the size of the gun but let's send 17 down range here and see what we can do with this baby same thing high on the first shot strange I'm pretty sure that was the best group out of the three, but let's go down there and take a quick look. Actually hit a couple bullseyes there with that one, I think. But let's go check out the paper targets. So, walking up, here's the M9, first one we shot. And again, I was aiming bullseye on all of these targets here. So, the group, a little bit low and left. The lowest one is actually quite sad. That's a miss by like eight inches or something. And then a group low and left there. So M9, eh, I'm kind of shaky with that one. Moving over to the FS, yep, FS. We've got a couple grazes of the bullseye there, one, two, three, four, hitting the bullseye ring out of 15 shots. And then a little bit low and left on this too, but a better group than with the M9. And then finally, going over to the M9A3, looks like I scored four bullseyes on that one as well but compared to the fs i think the group is a little bit tighter and i shot a little bit faster on this one but the group is still better out of all three of those if i back up here and not fall over between the m9 the fs and the m9a3 i think the m9a3 is the winner even though i wanted the m9 to win because i like the old school stuff I can shoot the M9A3 quite a bit better. And it looks like I'm low and left on all three of those groups, so probably need to work on my trigger control a little bit there. We talked about the sights. M9 has that kind of irregular half moon rear sight, and the FS and the M9A3 have the three dot sights. And we talked about the round count. The M9 and the FS both have 15 round capacities, M9A3, 17 rounds and that barrel is a little hot as I pick it up just after shooting next difference I want to mention the width of the grip the M9 is the widest and Then the M9A3 is the skinniest so the widest grip is the M9 The FS is in the middle and it's 
a little bit slimmer and then the M9A3 is the slimmest out of the three. Now, if you ask me, which do you prefer? I prefer the feel of the M9 in my hand. I like that wider grip. It just feels like I'm holding a gun and not a toy. Let me hold them all side by side now. FS, same thing. It feels good in my hand, but I just don't like it being a little bit skinnier. I'm gonna go back to the M9, and that just feels like it was fit for my hand. I've got big hands. If you have like little, if you have little hands, you may like a little grips. I don't know, but the M9A3, it almost feels like it's too slim. Like there should be more of something there for me to grip on. It feels almost like I'm picking up a toy gun in Kmart or something. But hey. I can't knock the grip too much because I shot the best group out of it. So another difference, the grip is skinnier in the M9A3. The FS is a little bit in the middle. And then the M9 has a wider grip. If you're like me, a big dude, I'm 6'6", 260 pounds. You may like the M9 a little bit better in your big hand. But let's load these up again. Shoot another full magazine out of all of them on some steel and have some more fun making some steel ring. All right, now I'm back at the same distance, 15 yards, but this time shooting steel. And I'm gonna go in the reverse order. Start with the M9. 17 round magazine, you really gotta give it that extra little push up in there. But 15 yards shooting steel. I'm gonna go all headshots. Just see how we can do shooting between the three here. M9A3, ooh, that wind feels good. Probably not good for the camera audio though. Headshot. Dead center. Kind of making that target flap its wings there. That's kind of neat. I felt like I hit all those, but I might have missed one or two, but see a pretty good little line there. Now, let's go over to the FS 15 rounder. That mag is a little bit easier to slap in there. Same thing, headshots. Woo, let me get in the camera here. Same three dot kind of sight picture. I feel like I like the trigger better on the FS. Could be the exact same thing, but I feel like the FS, I like the trigger better. So, 15 yards, feel like I'm doing pretty good. Looks like I kind of shot some in the shoulder even though I was aiming for the head there. But uh, FS, the trigger feels better, the gun feels better. Like I said earlier, I like the bigger grip. So this feels better in my hand than the M9A3. But we saw in the paper, M9A3, I had a better grip. So now the M9, this is the one that I want to love. Feels better in my hands, got the bigger grip. See how I can do shooting a steel here. Just wrecking that slide. Just feels like butter, mm, man. Now see if I can do a little bit better with these a little bit different sights. Flick the fly off my arm. Here we go here. I think I just need practice with these sights to tell you the truth. And there's the walking up to the steel here. You see, we got the shots all over the head, which is we were aiming for headshots. I'm pretty sure those were not already there, and those were hits that we just shot there. So, off a little bit, but we really slapped that steel good from 15 yards. 15 yards is absolutely doable for an 
regular everyday shooter with those Beretta 92s. Somebody said, duh. So, another difference y'all might be interested in knowing. What kind of a box does it come in? Me, I'm normally kind of like, eh, I don't really care if it comes in a cardboard box or whatever. It's going to be in my safe. Probably throw the box away. But sometimes it's cool to have a nicer box for you to take to the range. Some ranges require you have it in a locked box and all that crazy stuff. So, kind of in the order we've been doing them in. First is the M9. So, this one came to me in a plastic case and with only one mag. It's better than a cardboard box and it only came with one mag. Yours might not come in this box, you know, of course if it changed hands, it's a used gun, might not have any kind of box, period, but this M9 came in this plastic blue Beretta box. The FS came to me in another plastic box, kind of similar. Of course, they always put those locks in there nowadays, and this one came with an extra mag. So the FS came with the gun and an extra mag. Always good to have an extra mag. Some of these are not the cheapest. And then the M9A3 came in the coolest contraption box, if you will. Comes in an ammo can. And look at how that stuff is down in there. Comes with the gun already cut out for the foam. Two extra mags. So the M9A3 came to me with three mags. Three. And then the M9A3 also comes with a little bit different of a grip. I'll probably actually like this grip better than the one that comes on it. But <clears throat> extra grip for the M9A3, two extra mags. And it's pretty cool how they have those that foam cut out. So that just fits in there. That might be cool to put a can in, you know, put your suppressor down in there or something. So M9A3, it's also here has a threaded barrel so you can slap your suppressor on there so i'd say do that i don't have a suppressor to try it out but i'd say a suppressor would probably fit pretty well down in there as long as you don't have a really long one so differences in all three of these they all three have different sights they all three have different grip lengths the m9 and the fs 15 rounds m9a3 17 rounds and they all come in a little bit different box from the factory if you had got the factory box but then again, M9A3, I shot the best. But thanks for watching the video, guys. I could talk about these all day. Absolute hoot at the range today. Let me know what you think of them. Have you shot any of these? Love to hear your thoughts. We'll catch you on the next video, guys. Hoo-hoo!